Hi friends, host Eric here. I'm talking with fans people and I've got a Myers-Briggs related one on this next one which is if you've been watching my five minute video series you'll know I'm on number four here. I'm gonna bunch of fibers for bed as they say. So they call them down to the barracks. I gotta go to bed real soon though. Here it says feelings equal an inclusionary meaning system where thoughts are exclusionary. That makes a lot of sense, right? Um, for a person who's focused on feelings, an inclusionary meaning system is to say everybody acknowledges the fact that you're going to have mixed feelings on things, as they say, right? Mixed feelings is a perfectly sensible notion to a lot of people, including me. Uh, well, I feel this way about it and that way about it. I don't know. Exactly, and the reason people have that is because the reality is they're feeling different emotions as time passes along, a succession of different emotions. I say I have mixed feelings, they're not actually mixed together. First, I feel one, then the next, I think. If you want to dispute that, that's fine. If you're more of a knowledgeable about feelings than I am, then that's fine. But, uh, So, the point is, it's inclusive. Just in the same way that time objects are inclusive on a different vector, so too are space objects uh, exclusive on a different vector, so too are feelings inclusive. How do we know this? Well, let's compare it to the time object space objects then. Time objects. If you want a copy of my time object, you don't have to affect my copy at all. You don't have to even do anything except just say, download that, right? So, the notion of intellectual property is tricky because you haven't actually harmed anybody. You've harmed... Did you take somebody's, like, song... For example, and oh, I didn't pay for this, but I I am in possession of it anyway. Well, are you stealing from? If you know a famous song well enough that you can sing it in your head, is that okay? Do you have that song in your head, or does it not belong to you? It's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't make any money off of their stuff that they do. They should, if they can, if they're able to, fine. But not by enforcing a bunch of laws that create artificial kinds of property that don't actually exist. They couldn't possibly exist. They aren't objects. Um, it doesn't mean that the creative process doesn't uh, firm, doesn't provide somebody some expectations like you should be able to expect that I remember one time Heidi Preview wrote an article uh, it was a, her most successful article and uh, some shitty dumb website tried to copy it like basically copy the concept copy copied the concept so much that it was like basically I might have just copied the whole thing word for word but they sort of changed it a little bit, and she was all pissy about it, and of course, being a douchebag, I made some sort of comment, like, it doesn't matter anyone, they're not gonna get it, they're not stealing, it's not like they're stealing your traffic, you know, that kind of shit, though, obviously, there should be a process of social shaming and punishment for that, it shouldn't be legal, there shouldn't be, you shouldn't involve the government busting people, right, it's a bad idea. Same thing with feelings being uh, inclusive. It's it's not something that we ultimately, therefore, can use to make concrete decisions that require exclusion. If you're basing things on your feelings, then you're having to accept both that somebody's getting hurt and that we're taking the right action. That's really tough for feelers. So, anyway, my thoughts on that. Next five minutes coming up.